which is always my mantra, right? I'm always talking about advanced bookings because I think that's the best way to save them. That's what I call Aloha Spirit. It's a world championship. It's 32 miles across the channel from Molokai to this part of Oahu on the east side. Welcome to another episode of the Hawaii Vacation Connection. My name is Bruce Fisher. My name is Yaling Yu Fisher. Thanks very much for checking in with us. Got a great podcast for you for this Friday, April 29th, 2011. This is our 457 podcast. Glad you're aboard. We've got a lot to talk about. We answer podcast listener questions today. Yes. And we're also going to be telling you about a brand new property on the Big Island up in Hawaii called the Hawaii Island Retreat. It's going to be gorgeous. We did an interview with uh, Leah from that property. We're going to share that with you today. Mm -hmm. This podcast is brought to you by us. We're the owners of Hawaii-Aloha.com. We're in Hawaii, Hawaii's experts, and you can catch us on the web at www.Hawaii-Aloha.com. And you can reach us at 1-800-843-8771 or email us at Podcast at hawaii-aloha.com. Long time no see. I know. Well, thanks for joining us today. You just felt like doing it with us today. Today's my day. Today's your day. So thank you for joining us. Yeah, Lane hasn't been with us a while, so it's kind of a nice treat to have uh, to have you aboard. Before we do anything, let's go right outside. Take a look at our crater cam. Ouch. Look at it outside. It's a little rainy today. Where did these clouds come from? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It's been a little mm -mm. bit. Yeah, we've had clouds today, and it's been a little. It looks like it's going to be raining here today. Mm -mm. But uh, this, I think, is just a short-lived thing. They say the front's going to move through, and mm. by uh, tomorrow, I think it's going to be clear. I wish. Yeah, I hope Close so. Cross my finger. Uh, yeah, cross your fingers. Of course, we're going to be in Waikiki this weekend. We're going to be attending the Spam Jam. We're going to bring you some stuff about that. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're also just going to have a little staycation, hang out at the Moana Surf Rider, and we'll be doing some videos and maybe do a little live casting while we're there. Yeah. We'll see how it Why goes. Not? Okay, so we've got a lot of ground to go. Before we do anything, we were just talking about this great property we found out about up in Jave. This is on the Big Island, and this is it, it's like a mansion, and it's a, it's a retreat. It's a resort. It's like a full-on hotel, but they only have 16 rooms, and we, went with, we met with Leah. Yes. Who uh, is doing all the marketing for them. And uh, let's uh, take a look at that interview we did just a little while ago. Aloha. We are here with Leah from uh, Hawaii Island Retreat. This is a brand new property over on the Big Island. It's up in Javi. Absolutely. And, and thank you for joining us and uh, showing up here at our offices. I'm so happy to be here. Okay. Well, tell us about this wonderful new property that you are representing. Absolutely. It's a brand new property. It is on the Big Island. It's only been open one year. Mm -hmm. And uh, in that time, we have been voted in Condon Nest, one of the top island retreats in the world. And um, we, are, we were built from the ground up. We're still family owned. Mm -hmm. And we're only 16 rooms. It's a very small. So it's a small property. And it, it kind of looks a little bit like a, a huge mansion. <laughs> uh, how did this whole concept get started? This concept was to really bring back old Hawaii and give, say, the island traveler that's very familiar with Hawaii much more of an authentic experience, much more of a spiritual experience. We really wanted to create a place that gave back to the land, mm -hmm. you know, really create a place that combined luxury with spirituality, with sustainability. So everything we do is 100% green. We are wow. totally Isn't off that, the grid. That's fantastic. So, so what kind of things do you do that invoke this kind of uh, feeling and this, this giving back to the Aina and making it a Hawaiian, truly Hawaiian experience? What does that mean? So it's in our programs and everything that we do, from the moment you arrive to the moment you leave, everything is of that, that mana experience. We have 50 acres, and only 10 acres are built on. The other 40 acres are ancient Hawaiian sites, old hula platforms, old heiaus, really oh. special sites that we have spent a lot of time with the community repairing and creating these amazing sites. So, so, so now when people stay with you, is that all included in the package how do how does it work so give us a typical like five day stay at, at the property So the best way to think about us is a cross between a Kona village and maybe a resort in Tahiti or Fiji mm -hmm. where everything is included you can do everything you can either 
do an all-inclusive, all of your meals, all of your spa treatments. Mm. We're uh, a luxury hotel, but also a huge spa. Our spa is three times the size of our hotel. Wow, wow. So okay, so that's a big part of it, too. Huge. And also, a lot of our, our activities, if you're going to do a luau with us, if you're going to do a Hawaiian walk with us, mm -hmm. it's not the luau that, say, you do at the Kona Village, although that's lots of fun. Right, right, right. It's the kind of luau that you would do um, at someone's house where the certain prayers are said when the pig goes in the ground. You're told why it's wrapped this way, why we do these traditions. You're really taken through the old ways with old families, with old Hawaiian families. I see. And I, and you're speaking of the the unfortunate, uh, you know, the unfortunate thing that happened down at the Kona Village Resort. One of the great things there was having your own holly in your own place. Now, you guys have yurts. Now, what are these yurts? Can we show folks what a yurt is? Absolutely. Let's show the inside of a yurt. But the okay. yurt is like a holly, but it's actually a soft tent-like structure, mm -hmm. so like on Molokai Ranch when they have right, those the tentalos, yeah. So it's like a tentalo, but a lot fancier. Yeah. <laughs> so we added walls, we added a bathroom, so you didn't have to go forever to find your bathroom. Mm -hmm. We've made it very fancy, and because it's a commercial yurt, mm -hmm. um, it really had to be a lot stronger structure. So the what does that floors, name yurt come from? I know it's a, it, that's a, gosh, it means hut or something, Turkish but it's not a, word. it's a Turkish word. I Why think. not call them hollies? I mean, we are. You know, you know, I've been going back and forth with that. I just don't want to give people the wrong idea. Right, that, right, right. What right. it's not. So it's I a see. holly yurt. Yeah, I see. Yeah, I want to be very clear when they come. With that makes stadium. sense. <laughs> that makes sense. So now this, now how many of the yurts do you have? Now, what are these? I, now, I, I, I see you have the yurts and then you have the main building, which right. is the main property. We have property. Three, three different categories of rooms. Mm -hmm. So we have the yurts, which are five different yurts. Mm -hmm. Our holly bungalows mm -hmm. and those started a category of around 170 mm -hmm. then we jump up to the suites which are all facing the ocean that's on the second floor mm -hmm. and that is a certain price category I and see. that's around three 375 okay and then you jump up to the honeymoon suite which is the entire third floor wow and that starts doesn't that sound nice oh my god that sounds really really Absolutely. nice Absolutely. all the rooms have soaking tubs they all have the double showers wow what they don't have which when you look at the pictures you'll notice is they don't have TVs, right. they don't have phones. We really try to encourage people to disconnect. Do you have Wi-Fi? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> and we have cell reception and we have a media room. Because it's so hard for, I just can never unplug. I've tried, I can't right. do it. Yes. I, I, why? Why should you have right. to unplug? No, I mean, we don't encourage fight. you to unplug, we don't force you to. I know, okay, that's good. I like that idea, I like that it's idea. It's all about that. So okay. Yes, every okay. channel in the media room, you can get what you need. Right? Okay, just checking, just checking. <laughs> Absolutely. Because we are gonna come up there and it just sounds like a great place and it is in, on the Big Island, in Javi. Uh, Javi is like the northern side of the island. The most beautiful yeah. weather. And you actually get around that tip and it becomes yeah, really green. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Like people expect Hawaii to be. Exactly. But just the same weather as the um, the Gold Coast during the day. Right. It's just dry and gorgeous and then at night we have our Kohala rains. And how about, is it close to the beach? How close is it? You say it's we near the ocean? We have our own beach. Um, you do. Which is a kind of a Kohala beach. Okay. And I can show you our little okay. cove here. Okay. This is the cove that we have on property, about a five minute walk down to it. Mm -hmm. And you can see, well, you may or may not be able to see, but it is actually a completely protected cove, but it's rocky. Right. So we have snorkeling, we have kayaking, uh, we have sailing out of this cove, but it's not a swimming cove, and it certainly isn't a swimming cove for children. Okay, got it. So it's, it's so you are close to the beach, you do have access to the beach, and you can get that whole experience, which is so important for folks as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Very so, easy to get that So experience. the location is really great, and it's not that far up, really. I mean, how long does it take to get to Javi from the airport? One hour. Oh, just take that long. It takes an hour, about yeah. 45 minutes an hour. Right. To, absolutely. And for yeah. some of you, you might remember Javi is the place where they have flume in the ditch, which came back. And so I guess you're working with them as well, and people we can go do that. Absolutely. All the adventure tours. The, all the adventure tours happen right on that tip of North Kohala. So all the hotels come down and do their adventure tours, and we work with the flume in the ditch, with the zip lines, with the, the hikes in the valleys. Yeah, Fantastic. So this is just a great property. Uh, one we are now uh, selling and we got some great rates through our wholesalers. So give us a call, get involved with us and we'll uh, get you here up at the uh, uh, Hawaii Island Retreat. And what's the real name of the, the Hawaiian name? Okay, as long as you say it as well. No, no, I'll try. I'll try. I'll try. <laughs> it's uh, Hawaii Island Retreat at Ahu Pohaku Ho'omaluhia. Ahu Pohaku Alu. Malu Hiu. So no, so close. bad. Close. Was it close? <laughs> you got yeah. the first two words. Right, right. Ahu Pohaku. If I had it written, I could read it. You could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ho'omalu okay. Hia. That's about. Yeah. Ho'omalu Hia. 
You got it. Say Kalani Anioli. Yes. Can, Can you say that? Kalani Okay, she did that pretty good. <laughs> Four Huma generations Huma howling. That's true. That's true. That's true. <laughs> I've never heard that before. I'm five generations howling. <laughs> that's a good one. I just stay that way. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Leah. Thank you so much for joining us. And we look forward to coming to the property and sending lots of folks your way. Thank you so much for having me. You're welcome. Wow. Don't you want to go? I want to go. Sign me up. Sign me up. Sign wow. me up. I, I, I love that. I mean, I, I love all the culture stuff you can do there and uh it's it's just beautiful up in hobby i remember we went up there last time we were up there we actually did fluming on the ditch fluming That's in the right. ditch which is a lot of fun and yep. uh, i understand it's now in limited run now so you can still mm -hmm. do it so very cool very very cool and thank you to leah for uh giving us that information yeah give us a retreat <laughs> <laughs> let's get into our questions we got the first question is from mitch and he wants to know if there are any day programs at the hotel so that if you're going with your family, adults could have a little adult time. And yes, almost all of the major hotels have some sort of kids program. Of course, Hyatt has a great kids program. The Sheridan has a great kids program. Mm -hmm. All the Outrigger hotels have great programs. And also what you can do is you can hire babysitters when you're here. And there's a couple of really yep. good babysitting services that we can uh, get you, hook you up with. Because you don't want to, you want to definitely get a recommendation for that. Because you want a mm -hmm. good company that's been here a while. And we have a couple that we can recommend. So that's really the best way to do it. Of course, the kids can get those programs. Some There's costs for some involved in some of them. I know yep. the, the kids club does for, for Hyatt. Uh, but in general, they have like, it's a whole day camp and they can go yes. all day long and you can, but if you want to really, if you really want to go like out at night or something, you are going to have to get a babysitter That's or right. uh, some kind of sitting services. And yes. we do have those available. So thank you, Mitch, mm -hmm. for the question. We do appreciate it. Next question comes in from Will and he says, if I'm coming over to Oahu, I want to consider staying at the new Aulani. Ooh. And could you go over some of the great new features? And I'm guessing that the swimming and water slide areas are going to be top notch. Mm. Of course, what he's referring to is the new Disney property. Oh, you mean this one? Exactly. And you know what just so happens? This one. Just the other day, we got a whole bunch of stuff from the Alani, you know, and this uh -huh. is the uh, Disney, the new Disney resort. That's going to be here in the islands. And you know what? You've hit the nail on the head, Will, because you know this is just a huge, massive property. Yeah. It's a Disney, full-on Disney resort. It's Sorry, 21 I'm acres. At yeah, what kind of other goodies did you get from there? You got the this, the uh, Disney, uh, it says Disney Parks, and then the little, uh, what's the name of that guy? That, that guy. I forget his name. One row or something. This guy. <laughs> And lots of good stuff in here. We got this whole price pack, I guess, because we're going to be offering this hotel. We got some great prices on the Alani. It's I'm a 21 sorry, acre know. resort. It's got 359 hotel rooms. It's all part of the Disney Vacation Club. Mm -hmm. And I guess if you go there, you're going to if you're going to stay there, we're going to get you one of these resort and spa kits. Uh, How nice! And there's just tons of stuff to do there. But I think the real treat is going to be absolutely the water park and the water slides and all of the water features. It's kind of like a, a giant water park. And do you know, I don't know, the Mickey Mouse and the Minnie Mouse. Do they wear bathing suits? I, th I guess so. I, they must mm -hmm. be wearing bathing suits. That's a good point. They have yes. the Mini Huni Adventure Trail. They've got the Waikahole uh, um, stream, which is just this amazing water park that traverses the entire area. We haven't yet seen it yet, and there hasn't been a whole lot of uh, I pictures of it. I tried to put us on the lease to see it. Yeah, we are going to see it soon, and when we get there, we'll definitely uh, give you even more information, but I really think all the recreational facilities that they have there is going to be the big draw there. Of course, it's up there in the Ka'olina area, where they have all of those lagoons, so the mm -hmm. beach areas are gorgeous yep. and beautiful, mm -hmm. and they have amazing pools. They've got the Wailana Pool, they We've got this special rainbow reef thing where uh, you can do snorkeling. Yes. And they're going to bring in native fish and species in there. Um, there's just tons of stuff, including just a great beach and everything. So I think really that's going to be the big draw there, Will. And I think See? you've hit the nail on the head at the Alani, mm -hmm. and I would oh, highly recommend it. One. Oh, yeah, we even got this hologram the other day. They're really yeah. stepping up the promotion. And, of course, there's going to be a <laughs> Disney cruise that's going to be here next yeah. year as well. So, yeah. so Disney's coming into Hawaii in a big way, and yeah. it's going to be a great resort and a great mm -hmm. place for you to uh, for you to enjoy with your family the whole Disney thing going yes. on. Amazing. Next question comes from Patricia, and she says, "I see you talking a lot about beating OTAs. What is an OTA, and can you really beat them?" 
And OTA oh. stands for Online Travel Agency. Mm -hmm. And when we talk about OTAs, we're generally talking about Expedia, Travelocity, Hotwire, and a lot of the big discounters you see, uh, these big travel sites that you see on the internet and a lot of times people think that that's the only way to save money well I'm here to tell you that we can meet or beat a lot of the OTA prices sometimes we can't but in most cases we can and it's always better to really check with us to see what our price is as compared to those OTAs as well uh, very often we have price matching that we can do and a lot of times and Yelling you've had experience with these what happens when people uh, go online they see a price are they always comparing apples to apples sometimes it's not be honest right because you know each hotel they say it's a three star but doesn't mean and sometimes the location different everything and sometimes so, the airfare is different isn't yeah, it yeah different airline have a different price so you really have to make sure you're comparing apples to apples because in most I can help yeah, we can help you with that so definitely we get in help. touch with us let us know what you found mm -hmm. and uh, let's see what we can come up with because we really do want you to get the best price but more importantly we want you the most bang for your buck Mm -hmm. And that's what you can do when you deal with folks like us here in Hawaii. We're just tapped into all the deals, and we know where they that's are. True. And you can really yes, save a lot of money uh, by doing the packages with us. So mm -hmm. uh, hopefully that helps you out. And, uh, you, you know, always give us a call and always get involved with us. You give us a call, 1-800-843-8771. We have agents standing by mm -hmm. right here. Uh, waiting to help you plan your Hawaii vacation. That's all we do here, and we yeah. love to do it, and we love to help you plan your vacation in Hawaii. In the That's meantime, right. remember to download our app. We have an app where you can keep in touch with us and what's going on here. We constantly are updating lots of good content there for you, and you can get it. Uh, it's a smartphone, uh, BlackBerry, Yep. Uh, iPhone or mm -hmm. the Android and you do that just by looking up Hawaii Aloha. That's, That's the right. app. Now's the time in our show where we like to talk about packages that have been booked in the last 24 to 48 hours. Yelling, you put a couple together for us, so why don't you go over those with us and let's talk about them. Okay, the first one is for family of two travel from Portland to Honolulu and uh, on July 23rd to 27th stay in the Pasha Waikiki Ocean View Room got a leg waiting transfer uh, submarine and luau wow. for $2,230. Wow. Two, all of that, $2,030. $2,230. A great, yeah. great package. Ocean View Hotel Room staying right there in the heart of Waikiki. July 23rd, they'll be here, and they're going to have a great time. Yeah. Congratulations to these guys, to uh, Jonathan and Christina Wilson. They're going to have a wonderful time in Hawaii.